Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy, and I hope that you're having a blessed Holy Week and that you had a happy Palm Sunday yesterday as we remembered Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem for his uh, final week of his personal ministry. Now, I wanted to share with you what I'm doing during Holy Week uh, that maybe it can benefit you because uh, as we journey to Easter Sunday it is a time to immerse ourselves in Jesus passion his crucifixion and yesterday I looked at in my own private devotions Matthew 27 now if you're interested in how to do these readings in an organized way, uh, what, what I'm following is uh, this little book, the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have a copy of it, it is online, and I believe it has the scripture readings uh, for each day. Uh, that you can follow. If you need help, just uh, send me a message uh, here at YouTube and I'll give you more information of uh, how to follow it and uh, where the inform in, in more detail than I can give here in this video. But anyway, yesterday's reading was Matthew 27. Uh, the account of uh, Jesus' suffering and crucifixion uh, from St. Matthew's Gospel. And when I re read these stories and look at these uh, stories of Jesus' uh, crucifixion, I actually... I, I, I probably told you on a previous video, I follow the one-year Bible, the NIV one-year Bible. So this is adding on more readings. And I listened to it on a CD, this uh, Matthew 27, uh, yesterday, last night actually, after church. And listened to it, meditated upon the uh, scripture text and there's two people that stand out to me in Matthew 27 at least last night as I was reading it uh, you may when you read it get a different impression but I wanted you know the Lord to speak to me from his word and God primarily speaks to us from his word and the first person that really struck me was Pilate's wife. She said to him, you know, have nothing to do with this, uh, I believe, this righteous man, this just man. I've suffered many things because of him in a dream. Uh, she'd had nightmares about Jesus, Pilate's wife had. Now what these nightmares you know what they entailed what were the details uh, we don't know the uh, the Bible does not tell us but she'd been very disturbed by Jesus and I was thinking you know when I was a, a teenager I was very disturbed by Jesus when I was being convicted of my need of salvation and uh, it, it, he disturbed me. My sins spoke against me. And the thoughts of eternal judgment. And I, I wonder how many people today are being disturbed by Jesus. That he disturbs their life. That uh, they think of their sins. And of their of that if they stood before God in the judgment that they would be condemned because they have not Jesus. That's what I thought of many years ago. That's why Jesus disturbed me until I trusted Him as my only Lord and Savior. 
many are bothered by Jesus, much like Pilate's wife. Now, I don't know if she ever if she ever became a Christian or not. There is an obscure legend that Pilate and his wife later became Christians, but that's just a legend. Uh, there's no solid evidence at all that uh, that they were ever converted. I I hope that legend is correct. But many today are disturbed by Jesus. He, he disturbs them because of their sins, the way they're living. And, 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 uh, and he makes them very uncomfortable. Then the second person I, I, uh, I was uh, intrigued by was Barabbas. Pilate had an election to, to see who they would let go. Jesus or Barabbas. And who did they choose? They chose a murderer. Barabbas. And Jesus died in his place. But guess what? I'm Barabbas because Jesus died in my place. He suffered the judgment of God that should have been upon me. I'm Barabbas. Jesus took my place. I also was thinking there's another angle. The people of Jerusalem had a choice between Jesus and Barabbas. And they chose a murderer over the Son of God. And today, man in his depraved state continues to embrace maybe unknowingly and choose Satan, that murderer over Jesus, the Son of God. And until the Spirit of God comes in and opens their heart and gives them the new birth and gives them faith, they're going to continue to say we want Barabbas, we want the devil. Oh, maybe not vocally, but they want to live life the way they want to live it. Rather than trusting Jesus as Lord. I hope that you all have a blessed holy week and either tomorrow or Wednesday I'll be giving you my impressions on what I believe that uh, I learned in my private devotions from the Gospel of Mark and I encourage you to read through all four gospel stories all four gospel accounts of Jesus passion and death may the Lord Jesus Christ bless each and every one of you as we journey to Easter Sunday God bless you all